Hi everyone, today we're making this paper heart basket. If you want to learn how to make this, just keep watching. So you're going to start with this heart pattern that you can get at the link in the description. Or you can draw your own heart, but it has to be about the same size as this heart. And then just trace that onto some cardstock that you want to use for the bottom of the basket. And go ahead and cut that out. And then once you're done with that, just set it aside. Next, you're going to cut paper up into 1 inch strips. You'll need 12 strips that are 1 inch wide by 11 inches high, and 20 strips that are 1 inch wide by 5 and a half inches high. So just to recap, you'll need 12 1 inch by 11 inch pieces, and I put the measurements in centimeters also, and I used 10 pink and 2 red for those, and then 20 1 inch by 5 and a half inch pieces, and I used 10 white and 10 red for those. And then you're going to take those five and a half inch pieces and arrange them around one side of the heart. You'll need to use ten for this. And you're going to alternate the colors. Make sure they're all sticking straight out from the heart and perpendicular to the edge of the heart. And then hot glue them to the edge. And then once you've done that on one side, repeat it on the other, using 10 pieces once again, and glue them on. Then flip the heart over, and then you're just going to fold all of these pieces into the center of the heart. And then once you've done that, take one of the longer pieces and weave it in between each piece. So over, under, over, under. And then glue it to the piece at the bottom. Make sure it's pushed all the way down to the bottom of the heart. And you're going to bend a little bit that's left at the top back. And then you're going to glue it to that top right piece. And then you're going to go around the edge and make sure it's pushed all the way to the bottom and glue those outside pieces against the longer piece. This will just hold it in place better. And then for the other side you're going to take another 11 inch piece. You're going to glue it to that spot where you glued the other one at the top. And then you're going to weave it in and out of the pieces again all the way around the side. So you get to the bottom, then you're going to fold the little bit that's left at the bottom back, and then you're going to glue it to the inside where you glued the end of the other piece. Then you're going to go around the outside, making sure it's pushed down to the bottom, and glue those outside pieces. And then we're on to the second row, just repeat the same thing going over and under the pieces. It will be the opposite of what you did on the first row. And then glue it to the bottom piece there. Then push the piece down so it's against the other one. Fold that little bit up at the top and glue it to the front of that top right piece. And then go around the outside and glue those outside pieces against it, making sure that it's pushed all the way down. And then repeat this process on the other side, weaving it in and out, and glue it to where you glued the other one at the top. And then when you get to the bottom, fold that little bit that's left and glue it to the same spot as the other piece was glued. And then we're on to the third row now. Just repeat the same process again, weaving in and out, gluing out those outside pieces, and gluing it to the top right piece and the bottom piece. And then repeat this on the other side. Glue 
gluing those outside pieces to keep it in place. And then we're on to the fourth and final row, just going to repeat the same process again. Glue all those outside pieces again. And repeat this on the other side. And then go around and make sure all the outside pieces are glued. And then make sure all the inside pieces are also glued to this row. And then whatever's left at the top, just fold it in towards the inside of the basket. And then you're gonna glue all these pieces to the inside. And then just adjust the basket if you need to. And then you could stop there, but I'm gonna take two more 11 inch strips and I'm gonna just glue them to that top inside row. This will just cover those ends that we just folded in and give it a little bit of a more finished look. And then trim off any excess that's left. Make sure it's completely glued. And then repeat this on the other side. Glue it at the top. And then glue it all the way around. Now the last step is to add the handle. So I'm gonna take two 11 inch pieces and I'm gonna glue the ends together. Then I'm going to decide where I want to place it in the basket. Put glue on one end and stick it to the inside of the basket. And put glue at the top of the basket and glue it there. And then repeat this on the other side. And that's it.